Peace, love, and light, guys. Peace, love, and light. I hope everybody is doing well on this Thursday. Um, I should have came in yesterday to do this video. I'm a little late. Um, I hope everybody out there watching me is doing well. I love you all so, 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 so much. I hope this new moon in Leo has brought you so much success. Um, it has worked measures on me and done so much for me in my life. Um, my confidence, my power back, um, knowing that I can do anything that I put my mind to, not second guessing myself, sticking to my intuition, just knowing who I am and standing on that on my own truth. Um, what a powerful, powerful new moon in Leo this was. Um, I just wanted to come in and give you guys an update of what's going on in the heavens of the stars, the moon, and the sun, and everything. Um, Mercury went into Virgo yesterday. Um, that's why I say I should have came in here on yesterday to do my video. I have been so, so busy, but I had to come and let y'all know so you guys know what is going on and you guys know what to expect and prepare yourself for. Um, Mercury is basically how you analyze things, um, communication, how you look at things, how you view things, how you think. Um, anybody with a sign that has Mercury and Virgo, um, that's a very powerful, powerful thing. Um, me, myself, I am a Virgo. And let me tell you, we are perfectionists. We strive for perfection. Um, we analyze everything. We go very, very deep into detail. When I say deep, I mean very deep. Um, as a Virgo, I can admit it can be a blessing and a curse sometimes being very analytical. Um, sometimes we'll second guess ourselves so much. We think so hard. We second guess ourselves right out of a blessing. Um, so that is our issue. Um, but we can break down the human anatomy. And I mean, we can break it down. Um, me, I have been studying the Bible before Christ um, when there were gods and goddesses. Um, the whole Bible, different things after Christ. I've studied it all. Um, in my life, being raised in a church, you kind of see it being a debate and not really being a unified thing. And now I've realized to break it down to really understand what is going on. And I said all that to say Mercury being in Virgo, um, communication, the way we think is changing. Right now you might find yourself at a heightened interest to start researching things. Perhaps there um, is a subject or a conspiracy theory you wanted to research to break down now's the time you found yourself going into detail like i said virgos virgos are very very analytical people um when we talk to people when we look at people we can break them down we can read them and um, we can tell the energy if we want to deal with it or if we can't all we have to do is see it um when it comes to work, all we have to do is see it one time and we've mastered it right then and there. I'm not being funny when I say this. Virgo are the master masons of the Zodiac. Um, we balance out everything. Um, we are all of the signs um, in one, to be completely honest with you. Um, Virgos, we are, we strive for perfection. So Mercury in Virgo with this effect, communication, perfection, analytical things. Now you're researching more than ever. Now you're wanting to look beyond the veil at a lot of things. Now you want to pull the mask down of people and really study. Now you're wanting to really understand how people think or now you're really wanting to know is aliens real? Now you're really wanting to know how did they get like that? Now you really want to know, how can I become a carpenter? Now, you know, you see what I'm saying? You really want to study the detail. Um, for me, um, I can also say, you might ask yourself, why they say 666 is evil? That's a question I asked myself. And then when I went to do my research, I learned as melanated people, as melanated people, the DNA makeup for a melanated person is take six protrons, six neutrons, six electrons and that's how you make us so that's what 666 is 
um, see certain things like that, I had to really, really break it down to really understand. So right now, if you feel the need to be creative, some people are being creative, painting, um, learning tarot, reading the Bible, um, arts, I mean, just anything. You find yourself inclined to want to do something, that's okay. Mercury is in Virgo. So I just wanted to come in, give you guys a little update, keep you guys encouraged, um, let you guys know that is what's going on right now. Um, you might feel creative to pick up your business again. Now is the time to get creative. If there's something that you need to tell somebody, now is the time to tell them. If there is, I'm hearing a time to make peace. Somebody needs to make peace within somebody or within themselves. Um, the main thing is first find the peace within yourself and then you can forgive others. But first you have to look at self before you try to forgive others. But it's a time to make peace and a time to balance things out. A time to get your mind, body, and spirit together. So go deep, deep, deep within. Take some self-care. Get deep in that Bible. Um, was there anything else? I have my little handy notebook. I wanted to make sure. And just to let you know, if you're studying your natal chart, that is something I wanted to let you know. If you are studying your natal chart, um, I do readings. My natal chart readings are $300. 300 um, You can email me and I can give you your natal chart reading. But if you are researching your natal chart, um, I wanted to give you a few key points to let you know what it is. Your sun sign. This is the sign about yourself. Um, this basically is you. Um, this defines who you are. Um, no way around it. That is you. So the sun sign, that is about yourself. Um, your moon sign, that is your heart, your feelings. Um, if you want to know, you know, how am I feeling today? Look at your moon sign. Your feelings always is going to come from your moon sign. Um, your rising sign, this is how you look. This is how you display yourself to the world, I should say. Your Mercury sign is the way you think. Um, Mercury's in Virgo. <laughs> My Mercury is in Virgo. Mercury is always going to either be in Gemini or Virgo. Mercury feels kind of comfortable being in Gemini. But when it's in Virgo, it's a very, very magical moment. And it's in Virgo right now, as of yesterday. So now is a very magical time. A time to manifest, create new things, get new thinking processes, release the old so you can make room for the new. Um, karmic endings is here. God's trying to allow people to release things, to bless you with the new that he has. Um, behold, for all things are made new. Thank you, Spirit. Um, your Venus sign, this is how you love. This is how, this is what your heart says about love, your Venus sign. And last but not least, your Mars, this is how you deal with life. Um, this is how you handle your struggles, situations. Um, study the signs. Once you know the placements, then you can research. Research those planets, research those placements. And then you can understand um, who you are. I've been seeing the number 1010, and I know that represents karmic ending. So there's somebody watching this video. Um, there is an ending coming. You can't fight it no more. You've been trying to fight it for a very long time, and now you just can't fight it. Um, God's telling you to come on, come on, come on, come on with him. It's time to come on. Um, it's time for you to release yourself from this burden. Release yourself from this pain. Let it go, and come on to the side with him. Um, you're tired of fighting. You just want a new beginning. And perhaps if you've been seeing 1010, that's what it means. Um, karmic endings. God is about to bless you with a new beginning. But first, you have to let it go. Make peace within yourself. Um, here's a little scripture. Numbers 1010. I told you I've been seeing 1010. Um, here's a scripture. Numbers 1010. Also, at your times of rejoicing, your appointed festivals and new moon feasts you are to sound the trumpets over your burnt offerings and fellowship offerings and they will be a memorial for you before your God I am the Lord your God so I encourage you to understand what your new moon feast is 
Um, we just had one in Leo, the new moon in Leo. I pray that you got your confidence back. I pray that you got your power back. I pray that you went out and received new light codes every single day that you went out. Um, right now, focus on what needs to end, what needs to shed out of your life. Um, the karmic endings and the karmic debts is about to be paid off. But are you ready for it? Are you ready to put in the work for it? What do you need to let go of? Now is the time because new beginnings is right around the corner. If you've been seeing 10, 10 and 11, 11, it's time for endings and new beginnings. Embrace yours. Let it go. And understand that Mercury is in Virgo right now. So now is the time to communicate, express it, listen to some throat chakra meditations to express yourself amongst others, to get out what you need to get out. Make peace within yourself with what you need to make peace within and know that God is looking. Um, I love you. Peace, love, and light. May this message have shined light onto you and what you're going through. Perhaps your mind has been running a mile a minute and you've been trying to figure out why new things is coming. You want to do this, you want to do that, and you're not understanding. Well, know that Mercury rules communication and knowledge. And Virgo, we are very analytical people, um, very knowledgeable people. So now is the time for that. Mercury is in Virgo. There you go. Peace, love, and light. I love you.